Now I am become death, the destroyer of the worlds. This is a famous line of Hindu scripture dwelt upon by the scientific director of the Los Alamos Laboratory, J. Robert Oppenheim, while viewing the catastrophically successful detonation of the gadget, an implosion-designed plutonium device that would begin the world's flirt with atomic power. Oppenheim's reflection of the sheer power of the device can assumingly be deemed as apprehensive at the mere creation of such a destructive device. Yet Oppenheim's fears were probably not the only of the sort. In fact, some of the scientists present before the detonation predicted that the weapon could have had enough power to have caused the complete destruction of New Mexico, or even to have ignited the atmosphere and incinerate the entirety of the planet. The entire world would soon learn the devastating power of the atomic weapons with the famed bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan on August 6 and August 9th of 1945. The suspicion and fear over the potential use of such massive firepower would shortly engulf the world, careening the planet's superpowers into a race to build bigger, better, and more atomic weapons. Such possibilities behind the harnessing of atomic energy would keep powers on edge, as later events like the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 would bring the very planet to the brink of complete and utter atomic devastation, furthering the bleak outlook of a cold atomic standoff between the world's powers. Yet, regardless of fears and apprehensions regarding the strength of the weapon, it would still be detonated on July 16, 1945, 35 miles southeast of Socorro, New Mexico, on the White Sands Proving Ground, as the equivalent of 20 kilotons of TNT would fill the sky with a 200 meter wide explosive ball. The many scientists who have devoted a large chunk of their lives to the project would watch in what was probably a mixture of awe and horror as they dwelt upon their creation. Many could have contemplated the scientific achievement of the event, while surely others would have dwelt upon the dark future that harnessing such a power could bring. Either way, to say that none were apprehensive at the sight of an explosion that would leave a 10 foot deep and 1,100